In the South Valley, Tulare County officials continue to watch Tulare Lake water levels very closely as their temperatures begin to heat up. Action News South Valley reporter Eliza Navarro was in Corcoran today and shares a warning from county officials. The Kings County Sheriff's Office says although the days are getting warmer and the snow is melting, surrounding communities like Corcoran should not be alarmed unless there is an evacuation order. Now, I do want to give you perspective of just how quickly the water is rising here at the Tulare Lake Basin. Just two weeks ago, I was covering a story here about the lake and we were right next to that shed you see at the distance. And right now, the only way to get there would be to cross through water. For the past several weeks, Kings County residents have witnessed the historic Tulare Lake reemerge and with warmer days ahead, communities are on high alert. Currently we have about 100,000 acres flooded. Um, it tends to increase a little bit every day, um, so it, it's a lot to, uh, to take in. Alice and Albert Cotner from Lemoore say they remember the impact of the lake refilling in the 60s. In 69, it was a lot deeper on this levee right here than it is now. and and around over there, right up against the Kings River, it broke. And then it went around this way, around to, to, the, to the north. They're hopeful that this time around, breaches that could impact hundreds of families won't happen. Sergeant Nate Ferrier says multiple agencies have been working together and around the clock to prepare for the snow melt. The Army Corps of Engineers has done a great job at water releases, preparing for this upcoming snow melt and the warm temperatures. And so there's quite a bit of room in the reservoirs to hold a lot of the snow melt. So we're really hoping that's the case. Farrier says in the meantime, reinforcing levees throughout the county will not stop. And everyone has worked really, really hard to, to mitigate the flooding as best we can, especially on cities like Corcoran or Stratford. And, and so far, so good. Despite how things are looking right now, Sergeant Farrier wants to remind anyone who lives near the lake or a flood zone area to be prepared for an evacuation should a levee breach happen in the next few weeks. In Corcoran, Eliza Navarro, ABC 30 Action News. Meantime, Governor Newsom today announced the state will fund raising the Corcoran levee in the Tulare Lake Basin to protect surrounding communities and infrastructure. That's after powerful storms slammed into the region bringing Tulare Lake back to life in Kings County. This is the third time the state or federal government has intervened to raise the levy. The last time was back in 1983. State funding will allow the local flood control district to raise the levy to 192 feet. In total, the governor announced that he re his revised budget will include $492 million in flood response and project funding to help protect Californians. That is an increase from his previous proposal of $202 million. In court, Washington.